All right, another video for you guys to get ready for the chapter eight quiz. Uh, question 8.3.6, give the perimeter of a rhombus with diagonal lengths of 12 and 16 meters. And you can see that I've already identified uh, which diagonals are which. Um, I gave AC, it just looks longer of the two. So I labeled AC as the 16 and, and BD as the 12. And I think, you know, just a quick recap on a rhombus. The defining feature of a rhombus is that it is a, uh, it's a parallelogram. It's quadrilateral with four congruent sides. And you can see AB, BC, CD, and AD are all congruent to one another. The trick with this question is to remember another very special feature of the rhombus. Um, and you'll recall from, uh, I think it's chapter six that we did this. There's a unique property about these diagonals. The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other, which means that AC is perpendicular to BD, forming a right angle. So they're perpendicular to one another, and also that they are bisectors of one another. So AC bisects BD, and BD bisects AC. So if we named this point O, for example, then AO is congruent to OC and BO is congruent to OD. So now what does this mean for us in the context of our problem? It means that if AC was 16 and BD bisected AC, that would make AO equal to eight and OC equal to eight. And then it would make BO equal to 6 and OD equal to 6. Okay, great. But how does it actually help us define the perimeter of our rhombus? We need to define the distance around this shape. Well, the distance around this shape is going to be the sum of all of its sides. And so if we can find the length of one side, since all the sides are congruent, we just multiply that number by four and we can get the perimeter. We can add up all the sides of the perimeter. Four times one of the sides is going to be the perimeter. Okay, well now how are we gonna do this? Well, we have right here a right triangle. And not just any right triangle, we have a very special right triangle. It's actually a Pythagorean triple and I'll show you exactly how you can see that. Well, you, you, you could always just use the Pythagorean theorem and go six squared plus eight squared and find the hypotenuse. But an even faster way of doing it is to remember your Pythagorean triples. If you have a right triangle, one of the Pythagorean triples is the three, four, five triangle. 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared, 9, 16, 25. Well, what is 6 and 8 relative to 3 and 4? Well, this is just a scaled up triangle. These two triangles are similar. They, they, they share, they're, they're similar triangles, meaning that this 6, 8 right triangle is just a scaled up version with a scale factor of 2 of the 3, 4, 5 triangle. So if three times two is six and four times two is eight, then this hypotenuse here is going to be five times two, which is 10. You know when these become particularly useful, particularly helpful on, uh, on the SATs or, um, you know, or math, uh, AMC math, math tests, uh, math competition tests, math contest tests, where you're doing this under time. And instead of having to take out your calculator and do three squared plus four squared or six squared plus eight squared, you just know, you remember that these are Pythagorean triples. They're, they're very, very frequent. They're very, very common on things like the uh, ACTs and the SATs. Okay, so that being said, here's our right triangle, six, eight, and which means that this remaining hypotenuse over here is 10, which means that BC is 10, which means that CD is 10, which means that AD is 10, so four times 10, or 10 plus 10 plus 10, the perimeter is going to be equal to 40. There we go.